Praise the Lord. My name is Natasha from Love Secure Ministries. Thank you for joining me. Today we will be continuing with daily devotions. I'll be reading from Psalm chapter 13 entitled Trust in the Salvation of the Lord. And the passage says, How long, O Lord, will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? How long shall I take counsel in my soul? Having sorrow in my heart daily, how long will my enemy be exalted over me? Consider and hear me, O Lord my God. Enlighten my eyes, lest I sleep the sleep of death, lest my enemies say, I have prevailed against him. Lest those who trouble me rejoice when I am moved. But I have trusted in your mercy. My heart shall rejoice in your salvation. I will sing to the Lord because he has dealt bountifully with me. This is such a beautiful psalm because it is a psalm that reminds us that a posture of humility is important. It is a psalm that allows us to recognize the reward of the opposition of God. We see the result of not being surrounded by the light of God. We are reminded of the destination of those who continue to surround themselves in the midst of darkness and embrace their sin. And so this is the difference between the saint and the sinner. The sinner calls good evil and evil good. The sinner has a level of understanding regarding right and wrong, but it is an understanding that is according to the world standards. And when we who accept Christ as our Lord and Savior are born again, we live to the holy standard of the Father and Son. And in that understanding through the Holy Spirit, we now can see righteousness and unrighteousness according to the word and will of God. And in this, we can be humble and accept and understand that when we have those days where we may fall or not act according to the example of our God and King, when we make the mistake, we recognize the mistake and then look to our Father for his guidance that we may make the correction. When we walk in the ways of the Lord, then we could recognize darkness when we see it and call it out. The passage says, enlighten my eyes. This process of sanctification is an ongoing process. And we will always be walking this narrow road of sanctification, obedience, and repentance, and faith until we meet our Lord in the midst of his kingdom, in the midst of that eternal place of life. And so we are always learning. And we are always asking for the grace of God to be with us. And every time we open our eyes and we see that sun shining and we see that we are here to see another day, that is surely the grace of God upon our lives. And so it is my hope that the body of Christ will continue to do the work of ministry to edify the body that we may be able in humility to pray prayers like what we see in Psalm 13 
Lord, enlighten my eyes that I may continue to walk in the way, that I may continue to know of your ways. And we see that there is a key. We see that there is a mysterious key. I will sing to the Lord. The passage says, my heart shall rejoice in your salvation. God says that the complainer will not inherit the kingdom of God. And we see that the disciples were highly persecuted, maliciously sought out and attacked and abused and beaten and even killed. And in that time before they were handed over to death, when their work was completed in this earth and they were being called home to our God and King. When they were in the midst of persecution, they rejoiced. They had songs of praise. They had Prayers of trust and faith and joy. And they had a peace in the midst of fear and anguish and torment. May we be reminded of Psalm 13 and the truth in layers. For when we begin to read these passages and verses and we begin to cross them over, if you will, to passages throughout the Bible and we can see the mirror image from the beginning of the book to the end of the book, that our God and King endures with us even to the very end of the age. He endures with us through it all. We have to stay diligent to know that although the enemy may rise up even greater in this last hour, we will prevail against him because it is the Lord thy God, the most holy one of Israel and his beloved son, the king of Israel, who has gone before us and prepared a place, who has from Genesis Chapter 1, verse 1 in the Hebraic text in the pictograph show the promise and the overall consensus for the entire gospel, which is the love story. The nail in the hand says it all. And from that one pictograph, we can see the truth in layers. And we can see his promises of love unfold from Genesis to Revelation and throughout the entire Bible. We see it over and over again. The Lord says his people are a stubborn, stiff necked people. And nevertheless, our daddy God is so gracious to supportively comfort and correct us in all our ways. And yet, our king pulls us out of deep waters when we begin to take our focus off of him and sink into those waves. So I pray that you will remember today that with every step that you take, envision Peter on deep waters, how the Lord made those wind and waves calm in the midst of the sea. How he made the water like solid ground. And when Peter became afraid in the midst of his elements and environment and began to sink down in deep waters, the Lord was already in the midst of deep waters to meet him there and was prepared to pull him out of those deep waters.
the love of God and the actions of our God and King are worthy to be praised. He is worthy to be praised. God is love and he loved us first. And so we through love obey him to show the evidence of the Holy Spirit that has enlightened our eyes. And softened our hearts. And allowed our ears to hear the truth of God to know the king when he stood in the midst of us and pulled us out of the darkness. So be tenacious today. Be an example to others as Yeshua has been an example to his inheritance. Show the kingdom of God and show the difference between the world and those who are called out from among them. And I pray that we as the body of Christ will have in us the mind of Christ enough to continuously pray the humble prayer, Lord, enlighten my eyes. And to be faithful and joyful enough to sing to the Lord and to rejoice in his salvation. May you go in peace today and may grace be multiplied. Until next time, bye friends.